In this video, we will find the locus of points satisfying given conditions. First condition is mod of z minus 5 is equal to 6. We will find the locus of point that will satisfy this condition. To find it, we will put z is equal to x plus iota y. And we get mod of x plus iota y minus 5 equal to 6. We can also write it as mod of x minus 5 plus iota y equal to 6. Now by taking the mod of this term, we get square root square of the real part of complex number which is x minus 5 square plus square of the imaginary part of complex number which is y square equal to 6. Now squaring both sides we get x minus 5 square plus y square equal to 6 square. We can also write it as x minus 5 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square equal to 6 square. We know that this is the equation of circle having center 5 and 0 and radius 6. So the locus of point satisfying given condition mod of z minus 5 equal to 6 is a circle centered at 5 0 having radius 6. Second one is mod of z minus 2 iota greater than equal to 1. Firstly, we will put z is equal to x plus iota y and we get mod of x plus iota y minus 2 iota greater than equal to 1. We can also rewrite it as mod of x plus iota into y minus 2 greater than equal to 1. Now taking the modulus of this complex number we get square root square of real part which is x and we get x square plus square of imaginary part which is y minus 2 square greater than equal to 1. Now by squaring both sides of this equation we get x square plus y minus 2 whole square greater than equal to 1. So we can see that this equation resembles the equation of a circle. Since there is this greater than equal to 1 condition so the locus of the point satisfying given condition mod of z minus 2 iota greater than equal to 1 is all the points lying outside the circle x square plus y minus 2 whole square greater than equal to 1. Since this locus satisfy this condition greater than equal to 1, so all the points will be outside the circle. For example, if we suppose that this is the circle, then the locus will be all the points that will be on the boundary of the circle and outside the circle. The third one is real of part of z plus 2 is equal to minus 1. So firstly we will put z is equal to x plus iota y in this equation and we get real part of x plus iota y plus 2 is equal to minus 1. We can also rewrite it as real part of x plus 2 plus iota y equal to minus 1. Now we can see that the real part of this complex number is x plus 2. So we can write x plus 2 equal to minus 1. Here we have just written x plus 2 because it is given that we have to write real part of this complex number which is x plus 2 which implies 
x is equal to minus 1 minus 2 so x is equal to minus 3 so the locus of point satisfying given condition is the vertical line x is equal to minus 3 we can also see its graph fourth one is real part of iota z conjugate is equal to 3 firstly we will put z is equal to x plus iota y in this condition and we get real part of iota x plus iota y conjugate is equal to 3 which implies real part of iota x plus iota y conjugate is equal to x minus iota y which is equal to 3 we can also write it as real part of if we multiply iota we get iota x minus iota square y equal to 3 it can also be written as real part of iota x minus iota square will be equal to minus times iota square is equal to minus 1 so it is equal to 1 so here we get plus y equal to 3 here we have to take the real part of this expression which is y so we can write it as y is equal to 3 so the locus of the point satisfying given condition real part of iota z conjugate equal to 3 is the horizontal straight line y is equal to 3 the fifth one is mod of z plus iota equal to mod of z minus iota firstly we will put z is equal to x plus iota y and we can write this condition as x plus iota y plus iota equal to mod of x plus iota y minus iota we can also rewrite it as mod of x plus taking iota common and we get y plus 1 equal to mod x plus taking iota common we get y minus 1 now taking the modulus of these two we get square root square part which is x square plus square of imaginary part which is y plus 1 square equal to square root square of real part which is x square plus square of imaginary part which is y minus 1 square taking square on both sides we get x square plus y plus 1 square equal to x square plus y minus 1 square this x square will be cancelled out by this x square and now we will open the formula of y plus 1 whole square and y minus 1 whole square we get y square plus 2y plus 1 equal to y square minus 2y plus 1 this y square will be cancelled out by this y square and this one will be cancelled out by this one and we are left with 2y equal to minus 2y which can be written as 2y plus 2y equal to 0 that is 4y equal to 0 
from here we get that y is equal to 0. So the locus of point satisfying given condition mod of z plus iota equal to mod of z minus iota is the entire x-axis.